All dogs descend from wolves, but the wolves you know from the wild are certainly not suited to be pets. Wolf dog hybrids do exist, but they are only recommended for experienced pet owners as they require lots of training and are unpredictable in behavior. Fortunately, there are many dog breeds out there that bear a striking resemblance to their wolf ancestors without carrying their wild animal instincts. In this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that look like wolves. Number 10. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies have earned a reputation of being our own version of reindeer, pulling sleds at unbelievable speeds over mounds of snow for great distances. While this is true, this breed has also gained immense popularity as playful, loyal companions for pet owners. Huskies are incredibly easy to train and will remain by your side no matter what. Like their wolf ancestors, Huskies like to howl instead of bark and feel a strong need to belong to a pack. Don't miss the real reason why dogs howl. Number 9. Shikoku Shikokus are one of the smaller wolf-like pups on the list, but they certainly make up for it in strength and energy. This Japanese breed was raised for hunting wild boar in the mountain ranges of Japan in the toughest of environments. If socialized from birth and reliably trained, Shikokus do very well with children. Their aggression is typically geared towards other dogs, but with proper training, they can be tamed. Number 8. German Shepherd German Shepherds typically serve as military and police dogs, but have also secured a spot as one of the most popular house breeds. They are one of the most intelligent dogs known to mankind, as they are able to learn quickly and excel under the stress of competition. German Shepherds can exhibit aggression if they are afraid and not appropriately socialized, but generally, they are very loving towards families. Make sure to check out our guide on choosing the best dog for you and your family. Number 7. Samoyed these fluffy pups resemble arctic wolves with their bushy white fur and stature. Samoyeds began pulling sleds for the Samoyedic people in Siberia, but Queen Alexandra's love for the breed back in the late 1800s spread their popularity around the world. They are very smart, love to be social, and are very affectionate. Samoyeds need to be kept athletically stimulated and love to voice their feelings with lots of barks. But don't be intimidated. The iconic and adorable Samoyed smile shows just how lovable they really are. Number 6. Canadian Eskimo Dog The Canadian Eskimo Dog is strong, resilient, and disciplined after years of fending for itself in harsh Arctic environments. They require more activity than other breeds as they were bred to pull sleds and hunt, but today are very lovable pups. These canines exist solely as a family dog now, but they need to be supervised around young children and other pets due to their predatory nature. As one of the rarest dog breeds in the world, there are less than 300 of them left in the world today. Number 5. Yakushi and Laika Yakushi and Laikas were first found in Siberia and used predominantly for pulling sleds and hunting. Their dense fur and striking eyes serve as a reminder of their wolf ancestors. This breed is extremely gentle and forms tight bonds with humans, especially children, but their friendly nature doesn't diminish the need for socialization at an early age. The Yakushi and Laika can be somewhat reserved but will never say no to a new friend. Although they do have sensitive noses and ears, their friendliness would hinder their ability to be a good guard dog. Number 4. Kugsha Kugsha dogs have many wolf-like features, like their pointed ears, large size, and wide face. Unfortunately for allergy-prone individuals, the Kugsha sheds a lot and requires brushing daily, but this purebred will make the best companion. Their long legs and sturdy physique make them suitable for carrying heavy freight across long distances. Need a hand pulling your toddler in the wagon? The Kugsha has you covered. As they have only been recently domesticated, Kugsha are very independent creatures and require a ton of exercise, leading to possible damage if they aren't able to get enough physical activity. Number 3. Sarlus Wolf Dog the Sarlus Wolf Dog is robust and vigorous. With their wolf-like facial features and head shape, they have a ton of endurance, requiring a variety of daily exercises. Sarlus are recommended for experienced pet owners who live in a home that has lots of property for the dog to run around. Perfect for those who don't want a lap dog, these pups prefer to sit at your feet. Similar to wolves, they avoid contact with strangers and foreign environments. Before you let your dog run free in your yard, make sure to clear out these common backyard dangers. Number 2. Tamaskin Originating from Finland, Tamaskins are large and lanky. With beautiful yellow eyes and long legs, these canines may come across as intimidating, but they are truly amicable creatures who will be there to give you kisses at any time of day. They love physical challenges, but are generally more laid back than some of the other wolf-like breeds, except when left alone. Tamaskins can suffer from separation anxiety if they are by themselves for more than a few hours, which can lead to destructive behavior. Number 1. Northern Inuit Dog 
You may have recently seen the Northern Inuit dog breed on a popular television show on HBO. The rumors are true. This breed stands in as the dire wolves on Game of Thrones. The Northern Inuit dog was bred in the United Kingdom with the idea of having a domesticated working dog that resembles a wolf. Although they have been bred to be tame, these dogs are not for an inexperienced canine owner. While this breed is very clever, they remain stubborn and challenging to train. For experienced pet owners, they are better suited for families with more than one dog. So I really hope you enjoyed. What other dog breeds should also be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Here are some cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.